morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is a hive of activity here, it is Friday. So say hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. Oh, resounding success. <laughs> I love it, be still my beating heart. Right, let's have a look and see what's going on today. First things first, it's inset day. Say hello Izzy. Hello Izzy. Oh, well done, I didn't prompt that at all. <laughs> Izzy's having another little go at the watercolor that Elspeth and I were trying the other day. So I think she's actually just making a hot mess, but she's having fun. Um, Jenny's doing some knitting, what are you making? In. An infinity scarf. Oh, Elspeth has fallen down Izzy's procreate oh, rabbit hole. Just, just what have you done? Oh, I don't worry, don't worry. Undo, undo that one there. Tap it. There we go. Panic not. She's fallen down the procreate rabbit hole. Viv is cross stitching. Alison is crotcheting. And Carol and Diane are knitting Christmas things. And Mum's sitting in a corner. Totally undecided. Oh, perfect. It really is a genuine craft club today. Lots of people. And Dogger's here. Say hello, Dogger. Hello, Dogger. I made my first t-shirt. And it's not even for me. It's not, not fair, is it? Lucky recipient here gets the Merry Knitmas t-shirt. <laughs> So this is an SVG file that Viv bought and I've worked out how to do. I'm really pleased. I've got glitter vinyl and holographic vinyl and I'm just waiting for my BTHQ coloured vinyl to arrive this afternoon and I can have a play. So craft club is over but it's a busy, busy, busy couple of days at BTHQ. We have not one, not two, but three snowflake mandala classes in the next 24 hours and the first one is underway now. So we've welcomed back the lovely Angie. Say hello, Angie. Hello. <laughs> she did our rock painting class, but this time everyone's making Angie. snowflakes. Hey, Angie. Oh, are you stuck, well, Elspeth? Yeah, I, I can't hold instructions in my brain. Oh, well, that's no good. <laughs> if I only had a brain. And you'll see some regular faces. Look, there's Catherine and Viv. Got the lovely Elaine. I'm so sorry I'm useless with names. Jenny, that's the one. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> and this is what they're doing, but a much smaller version of it. It's beautiful, isn't it? This version here you're doing, aren't you? Yeah. All on slates. And Carol and Diane and Alison have stayed on. What you're doing. Look at these stunning, stunning, stunning the dot pieces nearest of art. To you. You'll so, put yeah. a dot in the centre as close as you can at six o'clock. Right, and that's with the. You've got to be able to tell the time yeah. as well if you could do this, then, have you, Angie? Mm. <laughs> six o'clock and three o'clock. Show yeah. me yeah. yours, Carol. Yeah. I don't know to put a one in the middle or not. Yeah. Let me give you a little. Hang on, let me the focus. Oh, don't move it. Oh, so pretty. It's really nice. <laughs> Alison's. Oh. oh, typical Viv's done purple and rose gold. Beautiful. They're just so lovely. They're gorgeous, aren't they? We've got some lovely coloured ones here. Oh, look at Elaine's. Elaine's from Rainbow. I love it. Rainbow Snowflake. <laughs> Without the hair dryer. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. oh, typical Elspeth's got blue in there. And teeny, tiny, tiny, weeny little silver ones. So it wasn't pretty. my choice of colour. Alison got it. Yeah, yeah. I made myself a t shirt. Look, it says Mother. Mother, can I have some help? <laughs> that's what mother, I get called mother, all the time. Mother, mother, mother. 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 My rose gold vinyls arrived in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah. Izzy's got a t-shirt too. Show us your t-shirt. What's it say? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Perfect for our little trip to Oz. Rose gold as well. <laughs> So that's another Friday over and done with at BTHQ. I'll be back tomorrow. We've got two more mandala snowflake classes. And I've got a free machine Christmas embroidery day. So it's going to be super busy here, um, which is really, really lovely. So goodbye from me. I'll see you tomorrow.
Good afternoon. Welcome to BTHQ Banter. It is one o'clock on Saturday. We have had such a busy morning that I literally haven't even picked the camera up. We had another 10 ladies in, or oh, actually no, that's a lie. We had another 10 people in. We had eight ladies and two gentlemen for mandalas this morning. So exactly the same class that Angie taught yesterday. Um, they came, they went. I had a one-to-one. -one. It all just went in a massive blur. Um, so I finally caught up today. Now I've got four lovely ladies behind me. Say hello everyone. Hi. Bye. Hi. Oh hi. Oh see, it's one of those days. Four lovely ladies behind me. They are doing my Christmas free machine embroidery. And then I'll take you next door where the mandala class has been underway for about half an hour now, our afternoon session. Here they are, busy at the B. Say hello everyone. Hello. And then we've got another four ladies over here. I do love the new studio layout. What does everybody think who's been here before, having all this lovely space? Yeah, it's good. really nice, isn't it? So they're all busy mandalaing. Have you started on your actual mandalas yet? No, yeah. you're still doing your Practice. test pieces. Test blobbaging. Test blobbaging. <laughs> I like that, Rachel. That's a nice term. Oh, Nick, get Sign you. Me out. <laughs> You actually wore the hat. <laughs> Fantastic. Why not? Why didn't not? Give her a didn't give her a choice. <laughs> <laughs> so Angelique has lots of different aprons that you can wear when you do one of her workshops. And she always leaves an elf one in the pile. And if you pick the elf one, you have to wear the elf oh. hat. And so far, no one's worn it. So well done, Nick. <laughs> That is a teaching day over and done with now at BTHQ. It's been so busy here in the last two days. We have had 30 people through the doors to make the mandala snowflakes. Um, and I'm really pleased Angie's just given me some dates for February where she's gonna come back and do the stones again. And she's also going to do a mandala heart for those of you who missed out on the snowflakes and wanted to do something a bit different. So that's really cool. So. Monday and Tuesday I'm back in here and Wednesday um, and I am filming on Monday, filming on Wednesday, teaching on Tuesday so I have got to return unit two back into film studio, film studio mode. Um, I'm going to pop you on a little time lapse I think and you can see how I do it. So I designed some stickers last night on um, Procreate, which is the iPad app that I like to use to draw on, and I have played with the print and cut on my Cricut. And I have managed to print them and cut them out, but I'm playing around with the pressure settings because at the moment, the cutter is cutting right the way through the sticker paper and I want it to just cut through the paper bit and leave the backing intact so I can create sheets. So I've tried two different settings. I'm gonna try a third one now and I'm hoping this time it's gonna work. Watch this space. So this is the sticker sheet. I think it's super cute. Look, little people in woolly jumpers, flowers, little pin cushions and thread spools and yarn balls. I'm really chuffed with it. As I say, I've got it cutting out perfectly around the edge of the stickers but it's going all the way through to the back at the moment. So, cross your fingers. Well, it's done its checks, it knows where my pictures are, and now it's going to start cutting. So clever. Oh. Still gone through, only on a couple though. It's the best cut yet, they are still all on the sheet but you can see it has gone through a little bit on the back but not as much as last time. So I think practice is going to make perfect but these are certainly okay for now. So I've got about half an hour until I need to go home um, and I've just sewn together um, my bird bodice, Maddie finished it for me. Um, as in finished the pattern and I got it all twirled up so I just need to pull that through and give it a press and start the side seams and then I'm going to call it a day and go home get my wee ones and enjoy a day in my pyjamas tomorrow. I will see you again on Monday. Bye for now. Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Monday. Look, I've had my hair extensions out. 
Ooh, scary. It's all short again. Um, anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, it is a mess in here this morning. I forgot what an absolute state I left it in on Saturday. I am very pleased that mum is on her way in. Um, and I think I'm going to have to help her today because there's a lot to do. Um, it's an odds and sods day today. I've actually got a one-to-one -one in a minute just to get to know your sewing machine that I've squeezed in before Christmas. And then I need to get lots of little bits of projects done. I need to do a big filming session on a Wednesday, so I need to cut out and prep for that. Um, I've got a few bits I want to experiment with on the Cricut, if I find the time. <laughs> a few little last minute Christmas presents I want to make. And I also want to try and get the skirt on to my cockatoo or my galah dress um, so that I can try and get that finished um, tomorrow. So yeah, a bit of an odds and sods day. We'll see what happens. Well, that was eventful, wasn't it? I didn't show you anything. <laughs> That's because I haven't really got anything done. Mum and I have tidied up. Um, I have gone through some of my skirt and folded some of the pleats and basted some of them. Um, and now time has run away with me. It's time to go and pick up the kids. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Wednesday and I have just got in. It's about quarter past 10. Um, we had an unexpected closure yesterday. Um, our boiler basically leaked at the weekend here on the Saturday. Um, now the whole block, it's not just BTHQ, BTHQ is actually joined to another two units um, and we're all connected by a big back corridor that runs along the back of the buildings and there's a little kitchen and toilet in there for those of you who haven't actually been to the studio and that's where the boiler lives and the boiler had a leak um, and that leak went into the boiler itself blew all the electrics blew all the board and basically blew up the boiler so we've had no central heating here so when we came in on monday it was really super cold we found out what the problem was um, and the boiler isn't actually being fixed until this morning or today i don't know if they're at it yet I've just arrived um, so I made the decision to close yesterday we cancelled classes because it really is freezing in here and I've come in today I'm supposed to be filming um, but that's not going to happen it's just too cold to uh, strip off the layers um, so again I've come in because I really need to get this dress finished um, before Australia and I've got some prep to do um, for next week so I've just got two jumpers on my woolly hat I'm going to keep my coat on um, and we'll see hopefully the boiler is being fitted as I speak and we should have a little bit of heat and warmth um, by the end of the day but we'll see update on the boiler it's now not being fitted until tomorrow Thursday so there'll be no filming today I'm so cross I've literally got one week left next week to get everything done before I go away and um, it's just not going to happen which is really annoying so instead I'm playing with my cricket and I've decided to cut out some gift tags I've got to wrap up Christmas presents for Viv and Carol um, because I'm going to be seeing them um, on Friday when you'll be seeing this so they may well see this before they get their present so I better not show you what I've actually done <laughs> Um, and yeah, I'm going to wrap those up and I'm probably going to finish my dress and then I'm just going to go home because there's no point being here in the cold. I just made myself a mug. Look. Don't mess with my... <laughs> I bought... Oh, it's probably not even going to focus very well. I bought some Moomin SVG files um, from Etsy and I love this. So it's rose gold on a pink mug. It's all mine. It's no good. <laughs> Bob, the landlord, has just brought over a little heater, um, but it's just freezing in here, and I can't sit here. I can't work. I can't sew because I can't feel my fingers. Um, so I'm going to go home, and I'm going to spend the afternoon watching YouTube and knitting, um, which is pretty much what I did yesterday. <laughs> But never mind, um, it's one of those things. It does mean that my filming schedule is, you know, completely and utterly up what's the word, up the spout, um, so I've got hopefully Monday and Wednesday next week that I can film, um, but I'm going to have to put off some stuff um, and wait till I get back from Australia now, because it's just simply not going to get done, um, it's really important that I finish filming the box tutorial, I'm so close to finishing it, and then I can get that all edited while I'm away, it's something to do while I'm away, um, and I really want to try and finish 
the Three Little Gifts tutorial, which is another one that um, is due to go out to my crowdfunders. Um, and I'd hoped that would be ready by now and up, but unfortunately it's just not been possible um, to get it filmed. But it won't take long. If I do have Monday and Wednesday, then I should be able to get those two things done um, and also hopefully create a few more little bits and bobs just for the rest of Vlogmas and get that sort of in the can um, and then I can shut everything down and uh, we're good to go. So I'm not in first thing Friday morning, but the uh, the ladies are, Carol and Viv and Alison and everyone are coming in for a little knit and natter. Um, I am helping out at Izzy's school, but I'll be in at lunchtime. Um, but as today is Wednesday, that's the end of a BTHQ banter. So I guess I will say over and out um, and I'll see you all same time next week. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.